Cast iron cooking at its best. Two pans of Italian style meatballs and another nice juicy tasty oven baked cast iron meatloaf. These are all going to get uh, put in a different container and chilled and then tomorrow I'm probably going to bag these up and vacuum seal them slice this down into nice servings and uh, vacuum seal it and everything will go in the freezer we'll have the grand finale of that when it happens later so there we have the last of the meatballs are all done we have one two three four five bags with six meatballs each in it we ate just the right amount with our supper so that it came out even five bags of six so yeah 35 there we go but that's going to be six meals for my parents with if it, you know six meals with spaghetti and meatballs anyway there's also all the sliced uh, sweet Italian sausage out in the freezer already and tomorrow Tomorrow, this one is going to get sliced down, and we'll do individual slices in each bag for this. And um, should have some happy taste buds over the winter here. And I'm looking forward to the reports while I'm back home with my lady love. See you when we're doing the meatloaf. Back later. Bye. Well, good morning and happy Saturday. Today is meatloaf day in the last of six bags I have over here a nice size meatloaf it was in the refrigerator overnight I've got it all sliced up sliced up and uh, getting ready to bag it up we'll see how this works one thing I have noticed with my food saver is that after every operation we have um, we have the dry and moist setting. I put it on moist, do an operation, even sealing uh, one end of the bag, it switches back to dry. So I have to remember, because this food is potentially moist, every time I gotta hit that button. And we are in frame. There we go. Let's lock that open. And we're ready to put in two slices of barbecue meatloaf. Number one. I'm doing two slices at a time because there's only two people here and that'll probably be a meal for at least one of them. Alrighty, we're all set here. The edges are clean. Curl side down. In the drip tray. Moist back seal. You can see the juices. And just like that, a meal of meatloaf is ready for whenever the diners are ready. The diners in this case being my parents. Whoosh. There we are. Meatloaf. Meals ready to eat. The new MRE. Meatloaf ready to eat. Let's get something to put this on. And, you know, like I said before, you can see there's juice that flows in around here. I've also got them separated so air can get in between. We're ready to rock and roll. I'm going to bang out the rest of these and uh, I'll be back later. And we're on the last bag. This is the two ends and one
one slice near the end. And we have six bags. And it's got some crumbs in there too. Mm. Boy, that's good stuff. So we have six bags with uh, meatloaf. And I think later on, I'm going to make a batch of um, scallop potatoes that I think I'll, will go great with this meatloaf. And I'm just very pleased put it on moist, back and seal. Very pleased that my parents will have a little bit more variety in their diet because of stuff that I can do, food that I can put up. There we go. That's the end. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice double servings of one of my homemade meatloafs. And you'll recall from the earlier segments, there's also sweet Italian sausage. There's um, grilled smoky boneless chicken breast there's um, five or six bags of meatloaf of uh, meatballs that I cooked yesterday with the meatloaf uh, and that's uh, that's six in a bag three per person so uh, I think it was five but uh, spaghetti sauce is canned um, I'm gonna do a few more things before I leave and head back to Ukraine but um, Really happy. This is a great investment. This stuff is going to last all winter long. It's good for, uh, I think ground meat is good for a year. So uh, that's it for the Food Saver vacuum sealing uh, episode. Hope you enjoyed and uh, be sure to keep watch on the, the channel and we'll have another video up soon. <laughs>